get on the same page here. That's me. My name is Allison, and I am traveling all 50 states with my husband. Together we've done nine states total. We just finished Alaska. This is Danny. We started a little over a year ago. We sold everything, put in our two weeks, and headed off on foot. The beginning of our tour was more like a pilgrimage, where we had a general destination, but our means to get there was anything other than a vehicle. Not that we minded hitchhiking, but we upgraded to a car when we found out we were pregnant with our first child while we were in Alaska. This is Ollie or Catkin. We don't know the sex yet. A child obviously changed the situation and we will now be accommodating a family. Now that you know a little more about us, let's rewind to last year. We hitchhiked from California to Oregon. This is where we got picked up by Caleb, someone we could easily call a very good friend of ours these days. He plays an active role in our lives now, but even the best relationships have a beginning, and this is what you're watching. Um, and this car, he's in the Navy, so he got transferred down to uh, San Diego, and the car went with him. And then I was just visiting him like two years ago, and we went to the auto show for fun, and we test drove another Jetta, a brand new one, a diesel, and he loved it, and he asked me if I wanted this. And I promptly Boy. crashed it, so that's why the front looks all fucked up, because, you know, I got the car and then immediately, like, ran a stop sign and hit somebody. Um, <laughs> but we put it back together, and uh, this car has been registered in Washington, Oregon, and California, and it's been up and down the West Coast wow. many times. Caleb actually has a newer Jetta now, but it's black instead of the Ferrari red. This is one of the many, very subtle changes that have occurred in a year. He picked us up and we immediately hit it off and told him about our travel project. He loved it, so he invited us home with him. Being from Portland and also being a Portland State graduate, Danny and Caleb had a lot in common, so they picked each other's brains. I think the interest was genuine for both parties. We met his roommate, Danny, and slept in his creepy basement. I had never stayed in a basement before, so it was extra scary for me, especially since it was unfinished. He also connected us with his mom, who lived in Olympia, Washington. She invited us to stay when we passed through the area. She lived right across the street from the Capitol building. Yeah. David will feel special if you like his cookies. <laughs> Which David? The David who made the cookies. His stepdad. Hey, my, dad, my dad's name is David. Really? Yeah. Cool. You guys have a lot in common, huh? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and guess what? My brother's roommate's name is Danny, too! Right! <laughs> this is craziness! <laughs> this is crazy! We met Caleb's little brother, Kingston, his mom, Lisa, and his stepdad, David. They took us in like family. They were genuinely interested in our travel project as well. Lisa gave us tons of marketing advice and even gifted us our very own website, which has come in handy. The generosity didn't stop there either. They fed us interesting foods that Tanny still to this day says is the best he's ever eaten on our travels. They supported us by watching our videos and by adding to our adventure. Well, 
hiking and saw the nearby beach together. While we were there, the Ferguson shooting occurred and a vigil for it happened. After we parted ways, but we always kept in contact. One year later, we were passing through because we were driving home from Alaska where we lived for six months. We all decided to meet up once again and it felt a lot like deja vu for many reasons. Yeah, apparently all plaid house that we live in. Dude, I'm gonna get Sylvia plaid shirt. We're all plaid. Oh, oh my gosh. This time started off with a gig that Caleb got for Danny at the most awesome bar. The owner was super impressed with Danny and invited us back. The Vagabond just so happened to be the place where Caleb met his awesome little lady Marley. On their first date, they had to sit at the Pac-Man game because the place was so packed. She is such a wholesome person and seriously the best hostess. We stayed in Caleb's basement again, but this time it was a much better experience. Marley finished the basement, making it like a little suite. Caleb drove us up to see his mom again. Of course, Kingston and David too. Just like last time we did activities together. Like Harbor Days. Kingston played a lot of games and we sat at the park. We went to McMinimins for appetizers and pool. And the next day, we hiked Mount St. Helens. And oddly enough, the issue with the shooting still hadn't calmed down. Hey, I saw you, Allison. I saw you on there. Saw River showed up. So there's protests here. Uh, how, would, how would you explain it, David? Uh, Anarchists were out uh, protesting for justice for Andre and Bryson for the police shooting about four months ago. And so they came out and attacked City Hall, throwing rocks and jars of paint at the City Hall. They chased them down the air felt like it was static electricity with all the excitement and chaos going on in the streets. The following day, we went to Marley's family's for a Labor Day barbecue, and then do a ball game. The Volcanoes won. And then we parted ways once again, continuing our travels. Stay tuned, because next week we're going to have a guest on our tour, a new member to the Magical Thinking Tour. Three, two, one. His face sag for little, his tail wag for little. Five dogs.
dog. Maybe six. If you include Sam. No, you have five including Sam. There's Cleo. Don't start adding yet. Bella. My sister did ask me. I don't know if I told you. She asked me if you want to Sam. Oh, no, thank you. Yeah. Pugly. <laughs> and Potsticker. A lot of things. <laughs> Here he is. And the bash is late. Okay. Who's Twinkie? What? What did he say? I said I am Twinkie. Would you like Would you like a camera? I'm here now.